fiery horse with the speed of light, the cloud of dust, and a hearty Hail Silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> Faithful Indian companion Tonto, the masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness have come down to us through the generations. And nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. We're heading west of Clayton. Sam Slater lounged out idly outside the general store in Clayton. His sharp eyes kept a close watch through the windows as he noticed a grave-faced Indian and a young boy make several purchases. When they came out into the street, Slater stepped forward as though by accident. Gee, Tom, we almost bought out the store. Uh, we need plenty of supply for a long trip. I'll bet we've got enough here. Why don't you look where you're going, Redskin? Oh, me sorry. Me not see you. Just a minute. I want an apology from you, Injun. Oh, me say, me sorry. Well, that ain't enough. Say, why are you trying to pick a fight? Shut up. All right. Here. I'll hold the bundles, Tonto. Uh, we had a varmint like you over in my country, west of here, we'd string him up. There ain't a dirty red skin within 50 miles of the roost. Me not want to fight. You make me. I think I'll smash that ugly face of yours. Not waste time. Oh, that's it, Tonto. Give him another one. Uh, Tonto not like fight. We go now. Slater, what the tarnation? Did that engine hit you? Uh, yeah, knocked me down. I figured I'm riling him, but not that much. What happened? He seemed peaceable enough when he and the kid were trading in the store. Uh, Redskins are all alike. They're tricky. Oh, well. It'll be my turn next time. You mean you're not even mad about getting knocked down? No use being mad. Well, I'll be... Didn't think I'd ever see the day when a cantankerous buzzard like you would hold his temper. Maybe I planted something more than a punch inside that engine's head. I give up. I can't figure it out. And don't try. Ever since you and the rest of that gang have been holed up over in the roost... Shut up! Why? Listen, Hank. You own a store here in Clayton. We buy our grub from you and we pay for it. Now, that's all you need to know. I didn't say anything Don't about... ever mention the roost. Whenever we want that known, I'll tell it, Savvy. Sure, Sam. I understand. Well, then don't forget. And keep your yap shut about what you saw just now. Hell, I'm drifting west now. See you later. Most scout, go fella, go. Go fella. Looks at those saddlebags. You two must have bought something at every store in Clayton. <laughs> Uh, we bring plenty of supplies. I couldn't carry much more. Good. 
We'll need all of it if we get a clue to the trail of Leif Nelson. Oh, me think me fine clue. What's that? In town, man pick fight. Yeah, and Tonto really smashed him. Knocked the big hombre flat on his back. What's this, Tonto? Oh, we come out from store. Man start to talk big. We try to leave. Him keep on talking. Tonto hit him. And you should have seen that punch. Well, what did you say about a clue, Tonto? Well, man look like crook. When him mad, him talk, and maybe him tell what him not want to tell. What did he say, Tonto? Well, him say his country, the roost, west of here. So the roost is even further west. Well, at least we know that much. Yes, Tonto, I think you did find a clue. What makes you think this roost place is where a lot of crooks are holed up? Well, nothing definite, Dan. Just scraps of information that government men have picked up. You see, everything points to a mysterious outlaw hideout. They call the roost. Are we going to head for there? The first thing in the morning. Many miles west of Clayton, in a wild and wooded country, through which there were no charted trails, a solitary horseman urged his mount forward. Get along, you lazy coyotes! The trail wound along a rocky slope that was dotted with scrub pine and tangled undergrowth. Suddenly, it veered downward, clinging to the face of a sandstone cliff. It was here that a sharp command from an unseen voice caused the rider to rein up sharply. Pull up! You're coming from both sides. Whoa, 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 whoa. You want to stay healthy, turn around so I can see your face. Hey, you fool. It's Sam Slater. Can't you recognize me? Uh, my mistake, Sam. You can go ahead. Yeah, get up there. In a cleverly concealed cabin at the base of the sandstone cliff, several hard-faced men listened to their leader, Leif Nelson. None of you got anything to worry about. You're safer here than any place west of the Mississippi. All you need to do is lay low. What I want to know is why. This roost is a good hideout, but none of us can make any money hiding out. Where would you Jaspers rather be? Here or behind bars in a federal prison? Well, that ain't the idea. Now, how can we I'm make getting any... to that. You'll stop blabbing for a minute. It ain't ordinary lawmen are looking for us. It's United States Marshals. That makes it tougher. Before we move out of the roost here, we got to cover every leak. Well, I still don't see The how... law wants us plenty bad. I don't have to tell you that. Them handbills that are posted all around these parts speak for themselves. Be savvy that, Lee. And the rewards they offer are mighty tempting. Now, if we ain't careful, the government's liable to catch up with us for them mail robbery and counterfeiting jobs we pulled. Well, maybe so, Leif. But the lawmen don't know where we're hiding... They've looked high and low without finding a trace of this hideout. That's the beauty of laying over in this cabin. It's harder to locate than a needle in a haystack. Then why don't you... But there's you... one hombre even a needle in a haystack can't lick. Sooner or later, he'll turn up here and turn us all in. Who's that? A lone ranger. What's that? Ranger? Blast that masked coyote. If he shows up here, I... Somebody coming. Get your hardware ready, boys. Uh, Howdy, boys. Sam Slater. You almost got yourself drilled, Sam. Yeah. Glad to see you boys are still handy with your hardware. But unless I miss my guess, you're going to have need of some fancy gunplay before long. What do you mean? The Lone Ranger will soon be heading here. Lone Ranger. Are you sure? Sure enough, Leif. I watched the engine and the kids stock up supplies in the general store. Then I bumped into them as they walked out for an excuse to drop a hint about the hideout. You dumb galoot. You mean to say you let on to them two while we're holding up? Well, I was slave, Saunders. Button up, all of you. You shoot off your mouths before you know what it's all about. Your explanation better be good, Leif. It's our necks you're risking. A while ago, you mavericks were beefing about being holed up here. You wanted to spread out and circulate for some easy cash. That's right. Well, you could do that except for one man. The Lone Ranger. Well, it's as simple as toe and toe. Get rid of the mask, man, you'll get what you want. That's why I gave Sam orders to let on accidentally like where we're hiding at. Sam's the only one of us who don't figure in a handbill. The Lone Ranger will bite without suspecting a thing. You mean you scheme to lead the Lone Ranger out here? Yeah. Not many people in these parts ever heard of him. What's that got to do with it? Plenty. We're in good standing with the folks around here. None of them know who we really are. Yeah, you're right there. Now, if the Lone Ranger was to pull a crooked job on one of us, we'd have the folks here on our side. Your idea is full of holes, Leif. The masked army never pulled a crooked job in his life. No. I'll take care of that. Sam. Yeah? Get yourself slicked up. 
Tonight you're taking one thousand dollars in cash and calling on the Dinsmores. Dinsmore? The old man who lives with his daughter in the back of the general store. You're there to talk business with him, Savvy. You want to buy out his store. Oh, I'm listening. Yeah, I can see that. You're doing plenty of looking, too. This thousand in cash. Well, don't let it tempt you, Sam. I ain't forgetting you're the only one of us without a price on your head. Maybe you lay awake nights thinking about the rewards for me and the boys. Oh, no, no, that ain't true, Leif. <laughs> sure, Sam. Just so we understand each other. Sam Slater visited Jonathan Dinsmore and his daughter Ellen in their store. And that's my proposition, Dinsmore. What do you say? I don't know, Mr. Slater. There was a time when I did want to sell the store, but lately things have changed for the better. Oh, now, now, no. don't be too hasty in saying no. I'm prepared to offer a good price for things I want. And I've been hankering to own a store just like yours for some time. But Dad doesn't want to sell, Mr. Slater. We're both very happy here. Oh, shucks, Miss Ellen. Happiness is a state of the mind. You can have it plenty of places besides here. But you, you can't always get your hands on a thousand dollars in cash. Is that what you'd pay if Dad offered to sell out? Well, sure thing. You got it right here. Yeah. Hey, uh, Dinsmore. One thousand dollars. What do you say? Get your hands up. <gasps> what He's the mad. The mass killer, that's who he is. Quick, Mr. Slater, grab your cash. No, you don't. Oh, wait, wait. Don't take my money oh, out. Shut up. Oh, oh. Dad, Dad, he hit him. Make a wrong move and you'll get the same. And don't antagonize him, Dinsmore. He means it. He's a killer. Shoots fast and sudden. I, I know him. He comes from Oklahoma. Oh, you know me, huh? Well, that calls for a change in plans. Start walking, Slater. Huh? You heard me make tracks. Oh, no, no. You got what I... you come for, your mass coyote. Now get oh, You ask for it. <laughs> Get going, Slater. Uh, I'm going. I'm going. Dad. Oh, Daddy, all right? Uh, uh, I'm all right, Ellen. Uh, dirty gun slinging rat. Uh, where's my shooting iron? I'll no, show him. No, let him go. You're no match for a professional killer. Uh, uh, help me up, Ellen. Uh, uh, someday there ain't a man living who can walk in my store and push me around. No, Dad, please, for my sake. Dad. Uh, Silver. Get along, Silver. Dad, that shot. You don't think the outlaw... I don't know, Ellen. But we'll soon find out. Slater, Mr. Slater. Oh, Daddy, he's dead. I, I know he is. I reckon you're right, Helen. The masked man plugged him right through the heart. Oh. Hey, what's the trouble, Dinsmore? What was the gunplay? A masked killer robbed this poor fellow and then cut him down with his guns. A mask, eh? I reckon that was the hombre I saw hightailing it out of town. Riding a white horse. Called him Silver. That's the one, Mr. Nelson. I heard him. You'd uh, know him if you saw him again, huh? You'd uh, go and toot, we would. We couldn't see his face for that black mask. But he was wearing a light-colored hat and he carried two guns. Well, we better get the sheriff to make up some handbills for him, Dinsmore. Reward for the capture of the mass killer, dead or alive. Three horsemen rode slowly through a wild and wooded country west of Clayton. Then as they came to a small clearing, the leader signaled a halt. Oh, Silver, oh, 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 oh. scout, old fellow. Oh, we'll camp here, Tonto. Ah, uh, this good place to make fire. <clears throat> Golly... Can we eat now? I'm starved. Uh, uh, long ride make Dan plenty hungry. Get the meal underway, Tonto. I'm going into town, but I'll soon be back. Well, you're not going to track down the outlaws alone. No, Dan. But I think I can learn something about the location of the gang's hideout. The roost. Come on, Silver. <laughs> curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
to continue our story. Having left Tonto and Dan in camp, the Lone Ranger rode into town, little suspecting that he was heading straight into a trap. He reined up in front of the store owned by Jonathan Dinsmore and his daughter, Ellen. Oh, Silver, oh boy, oh, easy. Now, wait here, big fella. We'll be right back. Good evening. Are you the proprietor? Pass your hands. Oh, I'm not an outlaw. We know who you are. You mass polecat. Hash them hands, I said. Perhaps this will convince you that I speak the truth. Dad, he's holding out his guns for me to take. Of course he is. He's covered by the shooting iron and he knows it. Go on, take him, Ellen. All right, Dad. I don't know what you come back here for, you mass killer, but you walked right into a trap. I don't understand what you... Mr. the mass killer. Leif Nelson. So you caught him red-handed, huh, Dinsmore? Took away his guns and everything. <laughs> well, this is better than if I'd planned it myself. I'll go for the sheriff. Uh, the sheriff's out of town, Miss Ellen. We can't afford to wait till he gets back. What do you mean? This hombre's a killer. We saw him murder Sam Slater ourselves. You saw him rob Sam of a thousand dollars? Well, I'm for seeing justice done here and now. You, you're not going to kill him. He's guilty, ain't he? Give me them silver-mounted six-guns, Miss Ellen. I'll send him to Boot Hill with two of his own slugs. <laughs> as Leif Nelson walked past the open window to take the Lone Ranger's gun from the girl, an Indian suddenly dived at him from the porch. Me get you! Ah! I'll take those guns. They send you a few harm, my daughter. I'm not going to hurt your daughter, Dinsmore. Put down that rifle. Well, I guess you got no choice. You got to drop on me. Now you get up. Bless you, Redskin. Knocked all the wind out of me. Now we'll talk, Nelson. Many men come this way. It's the boys. The last man. He's got a leg. Riddle them, boys. Quick, tunnel. Through the window. Uh-huh. Stop them. They're getting away. Kill them. Let them have it. Get up. Get up. There's the camp, Tonto. Ah. It's safe to rain up. They've lost us in the dark. Who's going to hold on? Who's going to what happened? You look like you walked into a hornet's nest. Uh, uh, isn't that right, Dan? Steady, big fella. Uh, How did you know about it, Tonto? Me not know. Short time after you leave camp, me see Leif Nelson ride by on trail near here. Me follow him to store. Oh. Him leader of outlaws. Yes, but the Dinsmores don't know who those men really are. Gosh. If the Dinsmores don't know they're outlaws, maybe nobody in these parts knows. Yes, I... Tonto, what was the name of the man from whom you learned about the roost? A him named Sam Slater. Oh. Sam Slater, huh? Ah. What's the matter? Slater's dead, murdered, and I'm supposed to have killed him. Well, what do you mean? The man who killed Slater wore a mask. He was made up to resemble me. That's why Dinsmore thought I was the killer. Golly, the, then somebody must want the Lone Ranger blamed for murder. Yes, Dan. And if the Dinsmores are typical, the people in town will believe it. People not know about Lone Ranger here. Well, well what do we do? There's only one thing to do, and that's to expose the real killer. Led by Leif Nelson, the outlaws gave up their search for the Lone Ranger and Tonto and turned their weary horses toward town. We'll get that masked coyote yet, boys. The guards are stacked in our favor. Even the whole town will be hunting the Lone Ranger. Killing Sam Slater. What's the matter? You lose your tongues? You, Baldy, what's rankling you? Any other time you got plenty to say. And Smokey, what's happened to your boys? Didn't you go a little farther than you planned, Leif? What do you mean? Sam's lying six feet under. What the boys and me want to know is how come. Well, I can explain that. You better make it good, Leif. While you're about it, uh, tell us what happened to the thousand in cash. Yeah. You ain't forgetting that cash came from all of us, are you, Leif? Well, of course I ain't. That's why I didn't want to tell you. What do you mean? Sam double-crossed us. He stole that cash. The money bag he took with him to the store was filled with stones. Why, the ornery rat. When I faced him with it, he told me to forget the cash or he'd drop a word to the marshal about the hideout. Well, that's when I drilled him. Yeah. You sure that's what happened, Leif? 
Do I look like a man who'd cross his parts? You double cross your own brother for benefit your life. I reckon you're telling the truth. Sam couldn't have betrayed us easy if he'd uh, been a mind to. Ain't that practically what I told him to his face in the cab when all you boys were standing around? You know, there wasn't no reward hanging over him. I reckon you did right in putting the skunk out of the way. Yeah, and there's Dinsmore's store up ahead. Hey, who's that talking to him in the doorway? Leif, it's the engine. Lone Ranger sidekick. Come on, boys. Whip up them horses. Come on. Get up there, boys. Tell you truth. Dad, he's the engine who helped the masked man to get away. Honduration, you're right, Helen. Where's my gun? Oh, you wait. You make big mistake. You're the one who made the mistake, Redskin, in coming here. Doggone it, where'd I put that rifle? You wait. Me tell truth about masked man. Maybe we should listen, Dad. He he might have something important to say. <laughs> he's up to some engine trick. That's what he is. Two fellow wear a mask. Fellow who come here first time kills Slater. Fellow who comes second time, not outlaw. Get the rescue, boys. Don't let him escape. It's Mr. Nelson. We go inside store. Uh, there he is. Mass killer's car. Drill him down, boys. No. What the? Somebody outside the window, Lane. Shout out the light. The engine. Don't let him get away in the dark. You not get me. Yeah. Oh. Dad, Dad, look out. Get the rescue. Someone came in the window. I'm with you, Tuttle. Uh, now we get him. Oh. No. In the darkness, fists flew with frantic fury. The confusion of bodies prevented the outlaws from using their guns. The men hardly knew whom they were fighting. In the darkness, it was almost impossible to tell friend from foe. The Lone Ranger battled into the door, and Tata, with eyes trained to see far better than the average in darkness, fought at the far end of the room. Keep out of, boys! Keep that girl out of the way! Where's that rescue? Uh, get another lamp of gold. Dad, be careful! Tato saw the flash when Dinsmore struck a match. He knew that the Lone Ranger's hurriedly prepared plan could not risk a light at this point, and swung a hard blow at his nearest adversary. Then he leaped across the room and struck aside the flaming match. Put in thunder! Hey, wait! You not be afraid. Everything be all right. Uh, what's that you said? In the brief flash of the match, the Indian had seen Leif Nelson. It was Nelson whom he wanted. He died at him straight through the struggling leg. Oh, he's got me. The Redskins got me. Now, find a tunnel. Ah. Him got mask and money in pocket. Good. You know what to do. Huh? Now you go now. Come on, Toto. Head for the horses. It's the masked man. He's getting away. Don't let him. After him. Come on. Finger. There he goes. Get your horses and after him. Uh, <coughs> not get away now. Me try him up tight. You light lamp. Uh, bless if I know what you're up to, Redskin, but... Uh, 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 that plenty light. Now, you see. It's the masked man. Uh, the engine's tied his hands and feet. Ah, uh, Me put mask on face, too. Uh, I don't savvy, Redskin. I thought you was his friend. Him first masked man, me tell you about. Him man who killed Slater. Yeah, uh, we know that, but... Uh, Second masked man, not same man. Him not outlaw. Dad, he's right. This is the man who robbed Mr. Slater, then took him outside and shot him. But the masked man who surrendered his guns to me was was taller and dressed a little differently. Uh, that's right. Now me take off mask. Show your face a crook. Underation. It's Mr. Nelson. Well, uh, that's impossible. Uh, Nelson can't be the crook. He, well, he's a respected man in these parts. You look what him carry in pocket. Jumping to your husband. It's the money Mr. Slater offered for the store. Then... Then Mr. Nelson must be the killer. Ah, and him plenty bad outlaw. You look at this bill. Eh? Great day. There can't be no doubt about him now. Look here, Ellen. He's what about the government? A reward. Oh, uh, well. Hey, you double dealing poor cat. Thought you could get away with murder, huh? I don't say. Who's that coming? It's the other men. The men who chased the wrong masked man. He gave us a slip again, Leif. Start it. What's that? What's what? That money in Dinsmore's hand. Where? Well, I, I... I don't know. That money bag looks kind of familiar. Yeah. Where'd you get it, Dinsmore? Hey, from the Indian. He took it from Nelson's pocket. It's a lie. That's all we want to know, huh, boy? The Indians are framed me. Holy smoky, you got to believe me. We'll take charge of him, Dinsmore. Yeah, but he's an outlaw. This hand I said we'd take charge. 
You'll get your share of the reward. Oh, oh don't let them take me, Dinsmore. Don't let them. They'll kill me. They'll kill me. Shut up, you scum. Don't let them. Have a hold of them, boys. Oh, you wait. You not take them anywhere. You leave them here for law. Try standing in our way again, huh, Redskin? Why are Help you... Help the engine, Dinsmore. All these hombres are outlaws. They want to take me out and murder me. What? Outlaws? It's oh, the Dad. truth. Oh, great day. I'll get my gun. No, you don't. It's too bad you learned all this, Dinsmore. Now that you know so much, we don't have no choice. What do you, what do you mean? We're making sure our little secret don't leave this room. That means you, the girl, and the engine. No, oh no. Do not worry. Him make big bluff. Bluff, huh? <laughs> we'll show you whether we mean business or not. Job beat on him, boys. Dad, he means it. Close in, boys. The marshal. He's got us surrounded. The window, Smokey. No, you don't. Uh, can you really? Take that. Oh. Take the other one, fellow. Uh, me get him. Out of my way, Red. Get him here. Oh. <laughs> Looks like we caught the pack of them. Yeah, I reckon we did it that, Marshal. Why, you two conceited old fools. Yeah. It was the masked man who really captured him and the engine. <laughs> yeah, I guess you got us, Miss Ellen. Yep, the two-digit job, all right. Masked man came to my office and dropped a mess of handbills in my lap. Then he had me follow him here. Where did he go? Who is he? He's the Lone Ranger. I'll just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. <laughs>